this all started with our Myas Touch bot. Um, the problem we were focused on here was that, you know, account executives, customer success managers, and renewal managers were spending hours extracting data from a variety of sources and reports to truly understand a given customer's growth and maturity. It was difficult for them to identify the most relevant narratives and really translate that data into actual insights, compelling visualizations, and more importantly, into a polished, cohesive presentation. Sometimes the numbers speak for themselves. That's why bringing data to customer conversations is so important for sales teams, like Jack and Sarah from the sales team at Slack. While preparing for a contract renewal, they use data to demonstrate how Slack changes the way people work. They sift through countless spreadsheets and dashboards to find meaningful numbers. Then they have to craft a compelling data-informed story from scratch. Doing all of this, it takes a full day, or at least it used to. At Slack, we build our own custom integrations for our internal teams, like Midas Touch, which delivers data-informed presentations to our sales teams in seconds. Here's how we use it. In Slack, folks on our sales team can type slash Midas, click Let's Get Started, and then search for an account. Midas Touch pulls data from multiple systems and compiles a customized data story into a Google Slides presentation, all with one command. The data is presented right alongside easy to understand narratives. Our teams get templated talk tracks that provide additional context on how to interpret and frame the data. And these slides are completely customizable. They can edit the content for each of our customers' unique context, or further explore the data to sharpen the story. Midas Touch helps our sales teams work smarter, so they have more time to focus on the important thing, helping our customers get the most out of Slack. We launched Midas Touch back in October 2019, and since then we've had tremendous adoption. So we have more than 400 sales members using Midas Touch for over 7,300 times since our October launch, and we measured this, I think, a month ago. Um, there's been huge time savings. This project is really impactful. So more than 5,000 hours are saved every month thanks to Midas Touch. It's been rapidly adopted because it brings data to where people are. And we're projecting that this tool is actually gonna save around 30,000 hours in fiscal year 2021. It's also influenced revenue. So we've seen that around 70% of our total ACV for the quarter in Q4 came from deals that, where they use Midas Touch. We started small, prototyping the first version of Workado. So we added a custom Looker SDK, as well as a custom SDK for Google Slides. And we were only executing a couple of queries at that time. So we were able to show the proof of concept and get a really great reception. Once we started scaling that sales stack, we were pulling, we were executing a lot of queries. So it was not going to scale. We decided to consolidate all the queries into a dashboard and execute asynchronously. So once the job was completed in Looker, it would reach out to Workado via webhook. Workado became the orchestrator, and then it would turn around, take that data, and send it to a dedicated microservice, which could use background workers to unzip the data and interpolate it into the Google Sites using Google's Python SDK. As you all may know, lead generation is key for continued top line growth for all businesses. And what's unique to Slack is that we have a go-to-market model that includes self-serve free and trial teams. So it's critical to provide our sales team actionable and insightful information so that we can scale effectively. We really wanted to reduce the burden of prospecting across an entire sales territory and maximize field capacity for selling. So more specifically, the problem we were facing here was that we found across our sales team that different users you know, really lacked the data they needed to prioritize their prospecting efforts. Some developed ad hoc solutions by leveraging piecemeal internally available information scattered across a variety of systems and pages. 
these lackluster solutions like really missed out on key signals and moreover were like used inconsistently across teams and segments. Um, and more importantly, they also existed outside of Slack channels and conversations. So our solution here was partnering with Monica and our internal BizTech teams. We built a bespoke prospecting focused news feed that delivers key activities and metrics about existing customers and prospects to Slack channels. This information is visible to anyone on a given account team and allows for <coughs> easy in-channel collaboration. We enable reps to take recommended actions in Slack on new customer momentum across their book of business at the click of a button. So we have the key activity notifications in Slack, which encourage the sales team to take the best action. We have the weekly account digest showing key metrics and highlighting any significant change, as well as we have really flexible configuration, which supports subscribing to individual accounts, as well as to your entire territory or someone else's territory. And all of this is backed by really robust engagement tracking. Let's take a look. So we had an existing slash command that you just saw in our video, slash Midas. We were able to enhance that to showcase the additional functionality. In this case, being able to subscribe to prospecting notifications. So when you hit that configure button, you're gonna see a modal in Slack that is gonna allow you to select whether it's a DM that you wanna share uh, the notifications to or a channel. And so we really, really invested in this piece of functionality because we have AEs that work in different segments. And so BDRs can also subscribe to all of their AEs accounts with this view. So we thought that was pretty powerful. So what do these alerts look like? So here are the workspace activity alerts. So a Slack team is called a workspace and an account may have multiple teams or workspaces. And what you see here is that for many of our customers, um, they will start using Slack for free or at least have some free usage. And so in this case, it's relevant whenever they hit certain integration limits. So in this case, we're seeing limits around, I forget the number of integrations it is, but limits around messaging and so on. And this is what provides the context that allows AEs to reach out. So you see here that we have two calls to action, view and mission control and view in Salesforce. So mission control is our internal name for Slack's admin tool. So here we have a snippet of information, but if they really wanna dig into the details, they can go into mission control from here. And the link for Salesforce is at the account level. So in there, they can see all of the account activity and all of the necessary context, any deals that may be going on and so on. And then the other kind of activity alerts that we have are called contact activity alerts. And so this highlight the actions that key decision makers are taking. And so we decided to start with four contact activity alerts. So we wanna know when somebody has attended a field marketing event so for example, it's really relevant to us if people are attending an event that, like this one, um, or like, uh, for example, around Workday or around Salesforce or around remote work, right? And in addition to that, we have pricing page visits, installing what we consider a productivity app and inviting a large number of users. But we only bring this alert into Slack if we think um, these are key decision makers. And the way we've been able to gauge that is that we have enriched the data through open price. So this is data that is publicly available. So it's nothing that was in the product in case you're concerned um, that we've been able to, to purchase this data sets enrich and not only uh, bring that enrichment into Salesforce we have also been able to um, host and enrich data in Snowflake, which is our data warehouse. So it allows AEs to take recommended actions 
given the activity alert or given a signal, right? And so the actions may be uh, send an email, make a phone call, and they are pre-built templates that are very easy to manage. And so what we're doing in partnership with sales ops and the BDR team is that we are aligning on the naming convention for all these cadences, right? Such that when there is a particular type of activity, we can then recommend the right cadence and we can find it programmatically and add the users to that cadence to start nurturing and prospecting. And then back to, you know, providing important context, we have the weekly metrics post. Here's some engagement and what has changed in the last six months, right? So it's basically given the pulse of the account. What are the important metrics that the rep should keep in mind when reaching out. So when they are subscribing to multiple accounts in a territory, we're gonna be able to aggregate all of these activities across, in this case, we're showing weekly and maybe a different time period. And then with Slack, the nice thing that you can do is you can use BlockKit um, to pop out modals so that they can drill in and find more information. In addition to that, um, we are launching the ability to find the trending accounts right from the app home. It's an additional surface that users can come to to find helpful information and interact with the bots. And so in this case, what we're doing is um, highlighting based on activity, which are the accounts that you should be paying attention 